fucking bully, but you're not gonna you're not gonna come up in my shit and bully me either. Here we go. Here the fuck we go. I'm a lover, 100. percent But that's not how you, you came in. in. You came in fighting. Years. No, I did not. You did, and you came in spitting. Keep me out the screen while I'm Tommy shit, bitch. You already know I'm back. What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to talk about Baddies Caribbean. Um, episode, what, three, four? One of the two. Um, for right now, I got to say, I got to give it a big shout out to Callie. She did what she had to do. I'm not mad at it. And I feel like everything that she did in this episode was justified. Um, there's a lot of questions I have for some cer certain girls because I'm just trying to figure out why. But y'all, let's talk about it. Like, comment, subscribe, let's get into the video. Yeah. Let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out. I'm a flame and if you wanna play with me, you can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, want it, securing the bag. Y'all, I just got back from going out. I just went out um, to a uh, brunch, day party, another party, an after party. And at some moment, I realized that, oh, bitch. I gotta go home. <laughs> All right, we open up the episode with Natalie Saf Sapphire. It's Natalie Sapphire Scotty. They're basically talking about what happened transpired the night before, right? And they basically talk about how, you know, Biggie and Jayla fighting. Then you got Gretchen over here saying the N-word. And then um, Sapphire basically, yeah, you know where um, Bianca is not over. I still want my fate. I still want my ones. I, 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 all this, right? But, um... Then we see Jayla and the Claremont twins go outside and they're basically talking in the front, right? They basically talk about how Gretchen's saying the N-word, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is I always feel like Jay, especially in this situation, I feel like Jayla is a fan of the Claremont twins. She's like, oh my God, y'all look so good. Oh, look at y'all. She's always boosting them up and it's coming from a fan perspective and I know that they're friends, cool. And I'm just so happy that the twins are here because they know me probably better than anybody else besides Natalie. Oh, I love Jayla. We don't have... Uh, we don't have Wait a damn minute. But I feel like the with the the, the Claremont twins is never reciprocated, right? Even at the end when they're leaving, they're basically like, yeah, you know, I'm happy that we all um, connected with people and we rekindled um, certain situations with other people. And, you know, I got to see certain people that I've seen before. I'm just like, y'all just sum up y'all friendship, y'all closeness with Jayla. In, in that so it just I just look at Jayla like girl you just look like a fan to be honest um but it was what it was Jayla talk about how she was over here with Gretchen like girl you always just staying the N word blah 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 you cannot say that this that and third blah 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 and I agree like Gretchen is she was definitely doing a lot in the first episode however I think what it is is when people are telling you hey I feel uncomfortable about this then that's when something like I feel like there's something like common sense button in your brain it's like oh they feel offended by this so let me cartel um, the verbiage that I'm using. You know, normally when she says she uses the N-word when she's mad. So when I'm upset, let me just use another word that, you know, I'm trying to still have a relationship with these women. I'm still trying to get to know them. So instead of me using the N-word that's going to offend the fucking masses, let me use another word. I don't know, you know, but, you know, common sense on this on this show does not seem to be a real thing. But, you know, Twitch is on. Um, so we then see, you know, um, Biggie, she was over here rolling up, but I really want to talk about that because that was irrelevant, but Biggie on the phone with Tommy, and I'm looking at Biggie like, girl, either you dumb or you slow, because Biggie, oh, Tommy's on the phone like, yeah, you know, um, you know, Biggie was my girl, and everybody trying to say I be sunning Biggie, but you know, at the end of the day, I never said anything bad about Biggie, I like Biggie, I, I, all this stuff, and they do, like, Tommy's introduction, cool. And Tommy basically like saying that she want to come back, you know, basically for Natalie's head. You already know I'm back. Big hill, step -a -step -a -step. My whole thing is, Biggie, you saw how Tommy damn near sunned you on Baddies, what? Baddies West. How Tommy sunned you on Baddies West and made you look like you was a fucking idiot. But now you want to basically put yourself back into that situation. And maybe our relationship is cool. I don't fucking know because I don't know you like that. However, it just looks weird. I'm just like, I feel like B Tommy was really sunning her and playing in her face, but we'll see what happens. Biggie calling me on the phone, talking about, uh, sis, they saying that you're not really my friend. And I said, bitch, believe him. <laughs> <laughs> believe him, bitch. Believe him. Get the fuck on my phone, you too, bitch. Oh, wow. 
now the base is like, yeah, you know, I want to plan this whole trip. Um, we're gonna go to a bonfire so we can all get each other and you know, um, bond with each other and have a good time. I'm just like, Natalie, fool, you full of shit. Because girl, you already know what these situations are. They're not about kumbaya and you know, marshmallows and braiding each other's pussy hair. Like, girl, no. Before they go to the bonfire, right? Diamond, Dia, and Slim, they all talking. They talk about, yeah, girl, you know, all this stuff happening. Whoop, do, whoop, do, whoop, whoop. And Diamond's just like real chill. But, you know, it's funny because Dia and Slim basically check her about Tink. And they're just like, so why? Are, dude, what's the beef with you and Tink? Because I don't get it. And then Diamond's like, um, I snatched her by, from behind, which was for TV stuff because I was trying to get on the show, which I'm on the show and she's on the show too. But she was trying to mock me with my wig. And they're basically telling her, which I agree. He's like, girl, it don't make no fucking sense. Because regardless of whatever she done, the ignition of the situation happened because you walked up behind her and snatched her wig. You didn't give a shit. You snatched a girl. You snuck her, to be honest. But like that, right? Like that. And then you want to sit up here like, well, she knows she over here ripped up my wig. Girl, a fucking course. You snatched her from behind. Like, I'm just looking at Diamond like, you don't make no fucking sense. She's just like, y'all just met yesterday, so how y'all friends? Regardless or not, at the end of the day, it didn't make sense. But I feel like Miss Dia, Miss Dia, I don't know, I feel like Miss Dia, she, 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 talk, she talks a good game. That's all I'm gonna say, she talks a good game. Um, so everybody gets in the Sprinter van, they go to the bonfire, it looks real survivor ish. Like, who's gonna survive, right? Um, the Claremont twins is their last day, and Natalie's basically like, Let's do a baddie baddie shot o'clock. You know, Ben, you always want to do baddie baddie shot o'clock, bitch. <laughs> As Biggie was that, right? So, you know, Aubrey's basically walking in, she's just like, Girl, this look like just real ominous. You know, we got fire, which is dangerous. You got sticks people can pick up, which is dangerous. Um, if security's here, I can feel safe, but it's dangerous. Seeing far too many elements that no amount of security on earth possible could control a bonfire of all fucking things. Like, she's just concerned about her safety and everybody else's. I mean, who's mad at that? So Natalie basically trying to play, you know, I want to make sure we all have fun and you know let's talk about the things that are bothering us you know because i care about you guys and i'm like natalie go to hell because like that's the shit like girl just say like ding ding roar rumble come on in let's fight just say that right but natalie's like you know what i want to introduce you guys to um you know the, the replacement girls all at once oh okay so you know who comes in is big um kiva J.O., Wendy do um Wendy was it Wendley, uh Jelly Bean, Havana Marina, and then Nunu. I think Callie and on um, Grinch, they both are they come in with them because they on ice, right? So Natalie basically addressed the girls and you know Callie steps up and, and Natalie's just like, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of y'all girls been over here talking about um having an issue with each other and she was like, you Callie, you came in on bad energy, you was spitting on people, you was over here hitting people, checking people, and Callie's like, no, y'all y'all over here came at me first, blah, 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 and then Natalie's like, no, look, I ain't no bully, but people want your head because of that. And she was like, one thing about it is you're not gonna come in here and bully me. And I said, Natalie, you know what? I gotta give you that one because girl, you deliver that line. I'll give you that one. You're not gonna come up in my shit and bully me either. And you're right, 100%. And that was never my objective. I'm a lover, 100%. But that's not how you, you came in. Game you came in. So Mariah walks up. She's like, Yeah, you bought me. You bought me. You bought me. Yeah, what's up? You bought me. And Caleb's like, Girl, I didn't even bump you. Like, what are you talking about? And then my whole thing with Mariah because, you know, Meatball was telling her, like, Girl, you're doing too much talking. Like, what, what are we talking about? Like, girl, she bumped you. She spit at you. And what else? Mind you, I don't support violence. Oh, hell no, no, I mean, oh, no, you spit on me and you bought me. Did you me? Bitch, because you're not even talking with me. You're talking with me. You're talking with me. So what you want to do? So what you want to do? I don't condone it either. Oh, but she's telling her, like, girl, what else? Like, girl, she, she did all that. And, right? So Mariah walk, walking up like, so what you want to do? What you want to do? So in the midst of Mariah doing that, right, Meatball then charges at what J.O. or Jelly Bean? Girl, I don't know who Meatball charged that, but she charged. I guess she charged that Grinch, baby. Then you know you see Jelly Bean turn around and start swinging at Callie. Hey, you, 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 you,
Never okay. shut up. Oh, 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 right. I'm just like, what? In the, and it was like this person versus this person, this person, that person. They, I'm like, what is really going on? Because it's just like, I see so much stuff going on. And mind you, I'm not even going to try to slow mo and track it down because I really don't give a fuck that much. But it's just like, it's too much stuff going on, right? All hell breaks loose. And then, you know, it gets forced, it gets extra, and it gets that people trying to do shit for TV because they're trying to get their cameras on. And people already peeped that. We already know what's going on. They try to get a spot in the house, which, I mean, I respect it. The Claremont twins is just like, you know what? First of all, I don't know if y'all peeped this, but I'm thinking it's Shannon. It might be Sinead. But one of their lips, I don't know if they have too much Botox, but one of the lips was like, like, I'm like, girl, ooh. But, you know, they leave and it's just like, we didn't even get a birthday cake. We didn't get nothing. It didn't just make no sense. Basically saying this shit is ghetto. Girl, we know. <laughs> so, you know, they go out and while they're going out, Tommy's like, yeah, Shannon and Shadoomed. I said, who do? I said, bitch, who? <laughs> Shannon, Sorbet. <laughs> we got a problem? Well, she's like, yeah, Shannon and Shadoomed. We got a problem? And one of them was like, no. And the other one was like, do we got a problem? No, do we? No, I'm asking because we're funny. I said, stand on it because, girl, who the fuck are you to check me about anything, baby? Like, do we have a problem? She was like, no, no, no. Oh, um, because I was like, you um, follow me. Da, da, da. No, girl, give me a hug because she was like, you been to my house, girl. We cool. They talk about some social media shit. Somebody unfollow somebody. Or some stupid shit. But they hug. They call it a dub. It was what it was. So we then go back to hell at the beach and meatball and jo they over here like squared up they're just like yeah you know you snuck me you came at me what's up and then big key was just like yeah girl like don't do that sneaky stuff and she's like nah what's up let's do it so her um meatball and jo they start throwing them i don't condone violence mind you but they start throwing them just just tagging them and you know meatball and to be honest i'm gonna say it was a draw because i see meatball getting knocked in her skull <laughs> by J.O. And I've been seeing J.O. get by Meatball. I ain't gonna hold you, right? So then, after they get their ones out, Dia and Nunu come up. Nunu is Antonio Brown, baby mama, right? And I don't, I think this is why I think that Dia is a lot of talk because Dia, I ain't gonna hold you. I like Dia. I think she's a, you know, great girl, great cast member. However, Dia, you got washed. You got washed. I'm sorry. Nunu did what she had to do. She got washed. She washed you down, right? Um, and I felt like that fight happened because when Meatball charged at Gretchen, Dia and some other girls charged at Gretchen as well. So Nunu was like, yo, why y'all jump on this girl? She might not know the backstory. We don't know. You know, Gretchen butt so small. Pick on somebody your own size. Oh. Why the fuck you but she just stole off on Dia, so that's why they over here, you know, had to get their rounds out. So after that, what's her name? Havana Marina. She's just like, okay, so what's up? Who want? Who want? Who wants? To, who wants to get it? Who wants to go in the ring with me? And I'm just like, girl, what the fuck? That's Bianca walk up like, yeah, yuck, what's up? I'm like, girl, you throwing your setup for what? Because girl, all you do is pull hair and over here pinch. You don't throw not the first hand. <coughs> the girl would pull hair quick, and. Off that alone, Havana uh, Market, um, Havana Aquarium, whatever her name is, she over here won that one. And girl, you pull her hair, she laughing. She over here, like, sound like she's over here insane. I'm just like, it's too much for me. <laughs> Mariah walk up after that. She's like, yeah, you know, Callie, you spit on me, you bump me. What's going on? What's up, girl? What you want to do? Mariah, she ended up bumping Mariah. Mariah ended up hitting her. Callie ended up spitting on her. I feel like they never finished it off or closed, you know, closed. What you want to do? I'm just like, Mariah, if you really wanted to do something, because this is the second time you have initiated a conversation with this girl, you're still talking. My whole thing is, you're the one who addressed her. You're the one who got spit on. You're the one who got bumped. What do you want to do? Nothing. Because you're checking her. It's not what does she want to do because she's not the one with the issue. You're the one with the issue. What do you want to do? Nothing. Ah, right. Cause, talking. So it was what it was. It was a dub. They hug it out and then, you know, <laughs> Mariah got pushed, but she's like, don't push me. <laughs> If it's don't push me. 
but Callie's whole reason was like, look, I'm three times the size of Mariah. I will swing that girl every which way but loose. So I want to go out to Jelly Bean. So she called out Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean take her wig off. I'm just like, her keep the wig on. But to each his own. And they were her fighting. Jelly Bean's like, yeah, what's up? What's up? I'm like, Jelly <laughs> Bean for short. Do you want to do that? I don't think you do. But, um, baby, Jelly Bean threw her hands up. She got closer, inch and closer, inch and closer. Callie kicked her. And when she kicked her, Jelly Bean's reaction time to get from the ground to standing up was too slow. Cause by the time she got tried to get up, her face was just in the right angle, a 45 degree angle. Do I know that for sure? I don't. And she came underneath and I said, I don't condone violence. But I was just like, girl, she, she got you good fashion. Good fashion, embarrassing. I can hold you. You got you flew all the way from wherever you were at to come here to get knocked in your face to jump on a girl and fight a girl that you don't even know that you came in with. You know, that's the girl said last episode. I came in with you. But, you know, at the end of the episode, you know, Grinch get caught up by Natalie because Natalie's like, Gretchen, where you at? Come here. Come here. Yeah, you've been saying a lot of stuff. So Gretchen basically saying, like, look, you know, at the end of the day, um, I didn't mean it like that. It was what it was. Like, that's not what I meant to say, blah, blah, blah. So her and Jayla started going back and forth. And Jayla basically telling her, like, girl, you cannot say that, blah, blah, blah. And Lord and behold, what did what did Grinch say? She didn't say, girl, you snuck me. Nick. You snuck me. Nick. I said, Gretchen, at this point, not only do you not learn, you didn't give a fuck. Jayla beat her ass down. I don't condone violence, however, YouTube, if you're listening. I don't condone violence. Please monetize this video. <laughs> monetize this video because y'all be playing. But before they could really get into how they trying to get into it, because Jayla was doing like slap shadow boxing at this point. <laughs> like Gretchen was over here trying, like dodging for their life. Go ahead, girl. She learned one thing. Um, but in the middle of the mayhem, Tommy, she looks good, but she's on a fucking horse random random and i guess next episode her and now gonna have um they um they they round and loki it looked like Nat nally you know i like you now you know i've been watching you since i've been in the high school girl shit i've been watching now since i've been in middle school oh my god <laughs> jesus alley it looked like you got dog walked. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know to be certain. I gotta watch the next episode. But Natalie, it looked like you got dog walked, sis. And if that's so, ah, uh, unfortunate. <laughs> but y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Brian Keith, LG, Black Pew. Bet you didn't know we the Holy Trinity. Now let the God stop a dollar break your head. Step into the room and get up in the bed. It's too sweet. That's cool. It tastes sour because I'm better than the hood. Uh, because I get you hyper when I'm running all around. Because I.